everyone welcome back to made with love by glamo where everything here is made with love by me glamo that's what my grandkids like to call me but my name's really leticia but they call me glamo okay so this is lesson number four and we're going to be learning the triple crochet stitch okay and this is what it looks like Ooh, there we go right there that's what the triple crochet stitch looks like We've already learned the slip stitch, the single crochet, the half double crochet, and the double crochet. Now we're on to that one. <laughs> Yay! Okay, so that's a tall stitch. And we're going to chain up four at the beginning and at the end of every row. Okay, so go get your yarn, go get your hook, and let's get started. So you already know how to do a slip knot. There's different ways to do this. This is just the way I do it. I know Paris, don't play with those flowers. Okay, so now I think I'll chain up 14. One, two, <clears throat> three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, and 14. And for a triple crochet, what we're going to do is wrap our yarn around twice. And because it's a taller stitch, we're going to start in the fifth chain. One, two, three, four, the fifth chain, okay? And what we, oops, I didn't, I guess I should have explained all that. Hold on. Okay, so you yarn over twice and you go into the fifth chain. One, two, three, four, five. At least I go into the fifth chain so that it leaves it four, um, four chains lengthwise up. Some people might go into the third one, but I go in, I mean into the fourth one, but I go into the fifth one. Go to the top loop of your chain on the fifth stitch, yarn over, Pull it through, yarn over again, and you've got one, two, three, four, four loops. And then, like I said, yarn over, and you're going to go through the first two, yarn over, go through the other, go through the second, whoops, hold on, I got it. Go through the second two, yarn over, and go through the last two. And look at how tall that stitch is. Okay, let's do it again. Yarn over twice, go into the next stitch, pull the yarn through. You should have four loops on your stitch and the yarning over part. Pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two for a third time. And there's your stitches getting taller and taller. <laughs> okay, let me keep going. Oops, I almost did just a double crochet. Yarn over twice. Don't forget to yarn over twice. Do it nice and slow. And hope that I stay in the shot. And I didn't tell you the name of my nail polish color again because I'm doing this all kind of in the same week and so my nail polish stays on for about a week because I use rock hard base coat and rock hard top coat. So my polish is probably going to be on for like a week and a half. <laughs> so I'm still wearing Wet n Wild number 471. Okay, so look, see, this is what your triple stitches look like. Okay, so yarn over twice. Go into the next one. Pull through two. Pull through two. And pull through two. Yay! You need to be really excited and proud of yourselves because you've already learned the slip stitch, the single crochet, the half double crochet, the double crochet, and now you've learned the triple crochet. Awesome. You are awesome. <laughs> It looks like it's really difficult, but it really isn't. And um, <clears throat> I'm a visual learner, so 
I learn really well by watching people's hands do the stitches and everything. Rather than reading notes on a piece of paper, I do better this way. So if you're a visual learner like I am, then, whoops, let me get this out of your way so you can see, then these tutorials should be pretty helpful. Okay, how many more do we got? Do we have, I should say. Okay. My dogs are in here again today, but today they're quiet. <laughs> okay, yarn over twice. Go into the next stitch, pull through two, pull through two, get out of my way little tail, and then pull through the last two, yarn over twice, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through the last two. Yarn over twice, and this right here is our last stitch right there. This over here is the slip knot, so we're going to go into that little stitch right there, and that's our last one. And if you watch the videos before, the lessons before this one, you'll understand. Um, why you've got to be sure to go into the last one and not make another stitch after that. It's really important for you to keep your um, your project nice and straight on both sides. You have to know where to end. Okay, so we're at the end and now we're going to chain up four. One, two, three, four. Turn your work around like always. Yarn over twice. Don't go into that stitch right there because it's being used by the chain four, which is considered your first triple crochet. So don't go into that one. Go into this one. Yarn over, pull it through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. So there. Now you know how to triple crochet you know where to end at the end of the row and then you know to chain four, turn your work around and now you know where to start your row. Okay, so let me just finish this row with you and then that'll be the end of this lesson for you. You can make anything you want with this stitch. You can combine stitches. You can do one row of triple, well you can do a chain and then do one row of maybe single crochet and then do a row of triple crochet and do another row of single and then another row of triple and that makes a very cute little pattern. Okay, so there's lots of things you can do with these stitches that you've learned so far. Did you hear that noise a minute ago? That was my three pound Yorkie. She thinks she's a beast, but she's only three pounds, but she thinks she's so tough. She uh, likes to, uh, her and the other Yorkie, the older one, who's like three or four years old, um, they like to wrestle and they like to fight like sisters. <laughs> they, they play together and they wrestle together and they fight together and argue together. Um, they're just like your typical sisters. The little one, the three pound Yorkie, she's a year old and she will go and grab a little piece of food and she'll put it next to her and then she'll look over at the older one and just watch her like, don't you dare try for it. And then if she does try, she goes, Rrr. she goes, she, she kind of attacks her. <laughs> okay, so let's finish this row and then that'll be the end of our lesson. If I'm going too fast, it's because my camcorder is telling me that I'm running out of, wait, did I do that wrong? That I'm running out of space, so I better hurry up and finish. <laughs> okay, I don't think I yarned over twice that last time. I panicked when I saw that my camcorder was flashing at me. Okay, almost done. One, 
to don't forget remember like in the other lessons you might think that's your last stitch but it's not you got to go into this one you got to find that little spot right there and it's kind of hard to get into go in there and then bring your yarn out pull through two pull through two pull through two and you are done one two three four and then you start another row and this is whoops come on get out get out, get out. okay this is what triple crochets look like okay all right i hope you're enjoying these lessons i'm sure enjoying teaching them to you um don't forget to subscribe don't forget to tell your friends about my channel and don't forget to like my video if you liked it um if you have any questions leave them in the comment area um, and thank you for visiting Made with Love by Glamo, where everything here is taught and made with love. <laughs> okay, bye.